This video is going to be a quick reminder of how to log into Frog, how to log into Google Classroom and some of the other services we'll use to set homework while Finn and Part 2 is not open. I'm going to start off by making sure we get the right version of Frog. It needs to be the Finn and Part 2 one. So the simplest way is to search for Finn and Part 2 on Google, find our school website and if we click on the little frog icon here, scrolling down the page it says log me into frog. If you do this on a desktop PC it works exactly the same. I'm doing it on an iPad because it's easy for me to show you um, where to click, how to type in the right boxes, but it works exactly the same on a desktop or a laptop computer or even on a mobile phone. Now to log into frog as a student you're going to need your school login name. So I'm going to use Bart Simpson. The login is made of two numbers, the year that you joined the school and then three letters from your first name three letters from your surname. It's the normal one that you log into school computers with. When I click on the next field it takes me to this Finham Park Multi Academy Trust login page. I need to type in my email address which is the username and then at finhampark2.co.uk. The password is exactly the same password that you log into school computers with normally and then I press sign in. As Frog loads it's got various different bits of information here, there's some um, that, that may be different by the time you log in. First place you are going to go for homework is looking up here. Now on my one there are no assignments because Bart Simpson isn't actually a member of any classes in the school. But you will find homework assignments from perhaps before the school closure and certainly as teachers are adding new work on for each class it will be put as an assignment on here. What they may do is suggest that you go onto their subject page to find out what to do for a particular lesson. I can scroll down the page to find a subject that has put some work online already. If I go on English, I can click Home Learning and they've set work for different groups already. If I click on Year 8, all of the lessons will be displayed here and if you've been given an assignment that says go on to Lesson 25, you would click on here and the resources that you need will be displayed. Videos, activities to do, there will be plenty um, plenty of work for you to do. Now some subjects will be setting work using Google Classroom. Of course you can search for that but you can also go to the link down here, Google Classroom, and log into that there. Logins for Google Classroom work exactly the same as they do for logging into school. When you put in your username, which is your email address, so for Bart Simpson it's 17 barsim at finhampark2.co.uk put in your email address, it will take you to the same login page and you'll put in email address and password exactly as it, as it did before and you can get onto here. Now Bart doesn't have any classes. Your teacher may tell you to join a class. They may give you a code which you would need to press on the plus sign and then type in. It might be a seven letter code that you just type into here and then you will see your classes here. Each class when you click on it will have work assigned to do. There may be other websites that your teacher assigns for you. There should be in the frog page details of how to log on to it. But if you're really stuck then you may want to contact uh, somebody via email. Now on the My Work tab we've got Outlook here for My Email or on the Student Dashboard it's just a little bit down here. There's a reminder on the page now about how to log in. Again, it's just as before, username at finhampark2.co.uk, so that's 17 bar sim for Bart Simpson, and then the password is exactly the normal one. Sign into Outlook, so. It says more information acquired, I'm going to press next. If it asks you to set up an authentication email address you can skip that by pressing cancel. And this will show you how to set up. We can put this to the London time.
Now Outlook will allow you to send a message and search for a particular teacher and you'll be able to send a message saying right. send a message, be as specific as you can and teachers will get back to you hopefully within a day but obviously remember email is not going to work quite like instant messaging you're probably going to have to wait for a reply uh, but they should be able to help you and point you in the right direction of what to do.